Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Hi. Okay. We may proceed with our lecture, lecture two, which is jazz application in agriculture. Hi. So anyone here have heard about precision farming? Any ideas? Okay, precision farming is actually a new way that applied in agriculture where they are using technologies in farm management and the aim is for better use of resources and also to reduce the cost and environmental effect. Geoinformation technologies have been used to support precision farming. For example, GPS. Global posing system that able to track object and equipped with GPS receivers so that the position of an object, for example, a tractor, can be continuously Track it on a system. Another example is geographic information system. As, as I believe everyone knows about the power of GIS in storing and handling geographic data and the ability of GIS to conduct spatial analysis that can be used to support informed decision, especially in making valid agro-technological decision. Well, actually, in precision farming, it is not just restricted in geo-information technologies. Actually, it is tied up with other advanced technology. For example, IoT. Internet of Things. Anyone here knows what is IoT? Sensors. Precision farming also now integrate with UAV robotics and other advanced technology okay this figures actually shows example of application in precision farming for example in crop prediction in pest identification in irrigation mapping in disease control Previous slide have shown several examples in precision farming. One of the example is smart fertilizer management. Do you have any idea what is smart fertilizer management? Why this system is required by farmers? Actually, in farming, Farmers can save money on fertilizer because normally there are a lot of unused fertilizer which tend to end up in streams and river. Therefore, when they apply precision farming in determining in de determine the amount of fertilizer applied on the field, they can use the fertilizer based on the site. How they do? They will use sensors on a machine, for example, a tractor, where the sensor is to gather information about the crop. 
and GPS will give the position of the machine on the field. Then, precision farming can be used to apply fertilizer based on nutrient deficiency sites. In precision farming, satellites or drone can be used to collect images from the sky. What kind of data that satellite and drone images can give to the farmers? For example, if they are using soil moisture ocean salinity satellite data, the data can be used to forecast the crop production and also from from NDVDI normalized different vegetation vegetation index to indicate the the greenness of vegetation from the NDVDI it can be used to estimate the healthy index of the vegetation and also to estimate the productivity of the crop. What kind of other data that can be collected by drone or satellite? They can give you plant height and give you a signal there's a presence of disease and weed through the colors of the images where they are in image satellite or drawn, there are certain colors or band that can be analyzed. to detect the condition of the crop. For example, drawn from the image, they can inspect by looking at certain color band. They know the plant is stressed or not. Then farmers can make decision on applying certain neutral nutrient that can be used to that can be used to their crop and also they can combat the spread of the disease by identifying the critical area okay now it's a reading task I've assigned each of you a link for you to read. Link number one has been assigned to Nusiba. Link number two to Kim. And link number three is for one. Okay, I want all of you to read. The articles or the videos that I've been assigned, then I want you to discuss what are the answers of my questions in the next slide. Okay, there are three questions that need to be answered by all of you. I want you to discuss the answers where, where actually the answers can be obtained from the articles and video that I already asked you to read. And I just need only one document submitted to me where the answer is actually come from all of you and you need to submit to me 
the answers of these uh, questions today through e-learning.